Demonstration Question 2-4. A student starts a lawn care business for the summer of 2021. Below is the period and financial data as well as a description of what the amounts relate to. Note, this data is from period end and therefore belongs in only one financial reporting element. Well, that means that each of these is simply a statement, a balance at the end of the period. This list is data until it's grouped and processed, changing it into financial information. It is key that you first categorize all of the amounts into their appropriate financial reporting elements for the business. Ooh, that's a key. Let's move the page down. Categorize the amounts into the correct financial reporting elements. Remember, it's only going to be one element. Advertising costs. Well, those advertising costs must have been used or consumed to help generate revenue because this is the end of the period. So the advertising costs would have already been incurred previously. So anything that is used, consumed or incurred to help generate revenue is an expense. Cash in the bank. Business. Well, cash in the bank is something that has future economic benefit. So this is an asset. Cash in the bank. Personal. Wait a minute. Remember it said categorize each of these amounts into their appropriate elements for the business. This has nothing to do with the business. I'm not going to categorize it. Equipment rental costs. Again, end of the period, these are rentals that have happened in the past. These costs were incurred to help generate revenue, so this is an expense. Gas costs. Used. The word used is already telling us exactly what this is. This is an expense container full of gas. Well, we can use this in the future. It's not being used yet. This has future economic benefit. It's an asset. Customer payments. Again, this is a balance at the end of the period. So these customer payments must have been past payments that we've already received. It's not going to be cash in the bank because we've already looked at cash in the bank. These are simply a total amount of what the customers paid over the summer. And why did they pay it? because we did something for them. We took care of their lawns. This is revenue because it's due to services performed. Let's just move the page down for a second. Cell phone costs business. These again were costs which were used, consumed or incurred to help generate revenue. That means it's an expense. Cell phone costs personal. This has nothing to do with the business, so I'm not going to categorize it money borrowed from parents to start the business. When you think about it, you borrowed money from your parents. So you must owe them money right now at the end of the summer. So this is a liability because it's a future obligation. iPad Air 2 purchased personal. Nothing to do with the business. Not going to categorize it. Money you put in to start the business. When owners put money in to start a business, that's considered owner's capital a contribution by the owners, and that is equity. Let's go down and see the next part of this question. Which data from the listing would not be included in the business's financial data and why? Let's list down the things we omitted first. These three items would not be included in the business's financial data because they don't belong to the business. They have nothing to do with the business. These are the activities of the owners and the activities of the owner should not be mixed up with the activities of the business. If this data was included, which assumption would the business be violating? Explain why. Well, I already explained why, but this is a violation of the separate entity assumption. The separate entity assumption states that a business's activities will be kept separate from the activities of the owners because otherwise the users of the financial statement would be misguided by the information provided to them because it would be a mixture of the business's activities as well as the owners. I'm going to continue with this question in the next video.